What's up everybody, today we are gonna do Antutu Benchmark Thermal Throttling Test. Okay, which smartphones do I have today? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 smartphones. I will start from the cheapest one. This one is the OnePlus Ace or OnePlus 10R. Then we have Vivo iQOO Neo 6. Then we have Redmi K50 Pro. Redmi K50 Gaming Edition. Yeah, Redmi K50 Gaming Edition actually is having its productive case on. This one is less like a productive case and more like a cooling case. They call it ice cooling case because they have added something inside this productive case to help this smartphone get cooled faster. Then we have this Vivo X80, OnePlus 10 Pro, Honor Magic 4 Pro and Vivo X80 Pro. The name of the smartphones are given over here and then you can see the price, RAM and storage information. Before we start this video, one request. If you find this video helpful, if you like to watch this type of videos, then please click on the like button. Like and subscription button is over there. Please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. At the beginning, let me clearly tell you, room ambient temperature is 26 degrees Celsius. There is nothing running in the background of these smartphones. All of these smartphones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. I have already recharged these smartphones to 100% of battery. Let's check temperature of these smartphones. Vivo X80 Pro is at 35 degrees Celsius, Honor Magic 4 Pro 33 degrees Celsius, OnePlus 10 Pro 35 degrees Celsius, Vivo X80 33 degrees Celsius, Redmi K50 Gaming Edition 35 degrees Celsius, Redmi K50 Pro 33 degrees Celsius, iQOO Neo 6 35 degrees Celsius, OnePlus 10R 32 degrees Celsius. It seems Diamond City based smartphones are a bit cooler than Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 based smartphones. Let's run Antutu Benchmark back to back 3 times and check which smartphone has better stability. Personally, I really don't like to see people getting hyped up with Antutu Benchmark score because most of the times Antutu Benchmark scores doesn't convert into real life performance. Well, after the first run, Vivo X80 has managed to get 1 million and 1,000. Vivo X80 Pro comes next with 999,000. iQOO Neo 6 has scored 980,000. It's clear that Diamond City is in the lead, but Vivo X80 Pro with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has performed well. Honor Magic 4 temperature got increased by 10.9 degrees Celsius. I'm not gonna talk about its score, but surprisingly, it didn't drop any battery percentage. It's the same with Redmi K50 Pro. Both of these two smartphones are still showing 100% in battery indicator. Vivo X80 temperature got increased by 4.5 degrees Celsius, which is the lowest among all these smartphones. OnePlus 10R comes next and then Redmi K50 Pro. It's clear that Diamond City based smartphones are not getting as hot as Snapdragon based smartphones. Let's run Antutu Benchmark again and let's check what happens. I don't really know what comes next, I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I fail so Well, after the second run, Vivo X80 has again scored more than a million but Redmi K50 Pro has surprised me. When all the other smartphones score got a hit, no matter by an inch or by a mile, Redmi K50 Pro score has just got better. It is also surprising to see Vivo X80 Pro has only lost 3500 and Vivo X80 has just lost 1000. This is amazing performance. Almost all the smartphones have done well, but we need to run Antutu again. Only after running 3 times we can do some judgment. I'm inspired by thirst, I'm inspired by worth, I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. After the third run, I'm not only amazed, I'm surprised. Redmi K50 Pro score is getting better and better, while most of the other smartphones scores got decreased due to throttling. But I am sorry, I cannot say Redmi K50 Pro is the winner of this benchmark test cause Vivo X80 with the same Diamond City 9000 SoC has got 990,000. That's 64,000 more than Redmi K50 Pro. Average score of Vivo X80 is more than 1 million. Vivo X80 Pro comes second with 996,000 average score. But does these scores mean anything? 
Vivo X80, OnePlus 10R, and Redmi K50 Pro temperature is way higher than the other smartphones. At the same time, Vivo X80 Pro temperature didn't even reach to 46 degrees Celsius, but it has failed to get more than a million. Okay, don't just leave this video. I haven't talked about Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I haven't included this Red Magic 7. I haven't included Realme GT Neo 3. Yeah, I didn't add these smartphones in this benchmark test because Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra doesn't get very good score in Antutu benchmark, but this one offers a very stable gaming performance. If I have included this Red Magic 7 in this video, then all the other smartphones would just get destroyed. Remember, this smartphone is also based on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Also, I didn't include this Realme GT Neo 3. If I have included this Realme GT Neo 3, then OnePlus 10R would be humiliated by the performance of this Realme GT Neo 3. So there are a lot of things, there are a lot of factors, there are a lot of issues that we have to compare, we have to consider before we select or decide which one is better. It's not like this one got 1 million so this one is better, no. Gaming performance on Vivo X80 sucks, rather I'll play games on my Vivo X80 Pro. Also Redmi K50 Pro costs less than Redmi K50 Gaming Edition, AMG Special Edition, this one costs a lot. But gaming experience on Redmi K50 Pro is far better than this one. This one comes with dedicated mechanical gaming buttons or shoulder triggers, whatever you say. But I enjoy playing games on this Redmi K50 Pro. If I have to select a budget device, if I cannot afford more than 450 US dollars, I will definitely go with this Redmi K50 Pro. If I need something cheaper than this, then I will go for Realme GT Neo 3. But if I need better camera performance, then I will go with this Vivo X80. If I am a hardcore gamer, I don't think about benchmark scores because this one is the best. And if I need the best camera performance, at this moment Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is the best smartphone which offers the best camera performance. If I can afford to have a flagship smartphone and I need a bit of everything, very good gaming, very good camera performance, very good user experience, very good battery life, then I will go with Vivo X80 Pro. These are the truths that I'm sharing with you. Many other tech reviewers wouldn't say like this. Also, I have Vivo X Note. I use this one as my daily drive, but I'm not gonna recommend this to you because a value for money or price per performance isn't very good. So what do you think about this video? Please let me know in the comment section below which one is your real winner. Budget, mid-range, flagship, let me know. And to my subscribers, please don't get hyped up with Antutu benchmark score. I think 3 Mark the Gamers benchmark is a better thing because that one offers more information. Actually, I like that one more. So if you want me to run 3D Mark the Gamers benchmark on all of these smartphones and then make a video, then just let me know in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button. Like and subscription button is over there. Please subscribe to this channel and share the love. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep in